Hi, my beautiful YouTube family. If you're new here, I am Bajan Treasure. If you're returning, welcome, 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 welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing beads. So, you can use self raising flour or you can use normal flour, but today I'm going to be using self raising flour. I have some cinnamon, I have some nutmeg. I have some sugar, I have some water, my trusty spoon, <laughs> and my bowl. So guys, I have already washed my hands, so I don't measure, it's just, I do it so regularly, I just know, just know, I don't know, I just know. So I'm just gonna, I'm only gonna make a few bits. So I'm gonna just pour maybe a cup, maybe a cup and a half. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't have a measure. I can try to do a little measure for y'all guys. So I just roughly just put what I think because I've been doing it for years. So this will be about a teaspoon. This is nutmeg. Another teaspoon of cinnamon. Now the sugar now is how you want it to be sweetened. However, so this is, as you can see, this is a tablespoon. And this is what sugar. Another tablespoon. It should be good, but if you want your sweeter, you could add more sugar. I think that is good. If you hear me sniffing it, I have the flu. So you're gonna mix it all around, mix all the ingredients around, so it can be all combined together before you put the water. Sorry about the sniffling, but as I said, I have the flu. But I still gotta get a minute breakfast for the family. Everything is mixed it together. So now I'm going to pour some water. Your water, same, same concept, right? You still have to, is how much it needs. So right now I pour some water, it still needs a lot more water. Guys, I'm even catching it on my videos while I'm here. I pour out all the water. But if you're not sure, pour it a little bit at a time. Because this is how it will look like now. I'm mixing it around. Then I will knead my hands in a bit. That's why I let you know early that my hands are washed. They're clean. Because I will got to knead it. So I just finished watch a video of my beautiful sister, Fluffy and Lit. So I'm gonna leave her a comment quickly. So I'll go on to another video. I don't um, watch the Bold and Beautiful, but I still support her. Her other stuff, I do watch them and listen to them, but I don't do the Bold and Beautiful nor the you know, rest is that in my thing. So, guys, this is how it looks now. And I'm going to break off our face spoon. So, if you all guys don't, you may want something for the kids because things are a little hard and easy. Is. This is good. And it's a little moist. So, we're going to put a little salt over. That's a bit of flour on top of it because a little bit too much water. It's a bit of flour like that. So it is nothing hard to do. It's very easy. Especially it's self-raising flour. So 
So if regular floor does the work for you, so you don't have to worry your head about nothing. I'm gonna put a bit more floor because it's still sticking on my fingers. And I'm gonna need it good and proper. But I am so sorry for the stippling. The flu had me for a couple of days. I kind of recovering, kind of recovering. It's early morning, it is about 6.30 right now. My husband is going to work, then he come back and he gets some breakfast. So this is basically bread. Okay, basically bread. Now this is how the door looks like it's neat. So now I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. So I will be back in a few minutes. So that look. So guys, I wash my hands again. And you get a bit of flour. Throw it in the bowl. And then we're gonna buzz cherry lips. Then we're gonna roll it and get a bit more flour. And roll it like a ball. So it'll be easy for me to take out when I got it on the fire in the ball. So roll it all like that. So it's been a, maybe about, I would say about 10, maybe 15 minutes. I left it. I'm like fouls. I don't know. I even kill myself with them. I'm always in the videos. <laughs> it's about, my most of the time I do my videos will be early morning still. So uh, fall, a lot of fouls used to be a lot of nice in the morning to be getting, you know. It's morning! How cuckoo cuckoo! It's morning! Cuckoo cuckoo! It's morning! It's morning! Right, like a ball. You know, you could do it as big as you would like. Well, I try not to do it too big. Make sure it cook properly. True, right? And then we finish here. I'll be back in a few. So I'm back, guys. Guys, I want to show you. I will, I'm going to do one in a plat. So I want to show you. So I roll it like this. I roll three. Same like this. I just want to show you guys that. Sorry if it is a bit long. So. I'm do it in a plat. If you, all know, if you don't know what a plat is, I mean a bread. bread style. I don't really want this. I just want to show you guys how I did it. So, off to the stove now. So guys, I have my plate here. My frying pan is him big stove over there. So, if you want to test if your pan is hot enough, I will show you how to do that. Let me just pause for a bit. So guys, if you want to know if your pan is hot enough for your bakes, you just take a bit of flour and throw it in the pot. Once you say it bubbled up so, it's ready and willing. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to get a camera back in the right spot. So that'd be something a bit difficult. So the pan is hot. I'm going to look down. Get a bit of flour on my fingers. Yeah, it's steaming hot now. So, guys, you can do it like this, flatten it, like that. Same process. Let me 
this is that. Remember this oil will be very hot. So very be very careful. I'm gonna move around a bit. But y'all can see that, yeah. I can get a flow up and clear. That, that, no worries, no worries with that. So if you flow on over, put it back in the fridge. I keep my flow in the fridge. Keep it nice and fresh. And you can even buy it. So we got, that's me. Grabbing up the flower. Oh, you flow on top of the yeah. thing. Yeah. Isn't it more professional? <laughs> so when you see it getting brown, we turn it over. Still isn't cook as yet. Just turn it over. Turn it over. Right. Yes, the phone is up there just keeping noise. Coo coo coo. Wake up, everyone. It's morning. You need to get up. I'm being silly. I'm going to pause the video because I don't want it to be too long because it looks like it's going to be a bit long. So guys, this is what it's looking like. Oops, already. As you can see, we have a little bit of oil in the pan. You don't need a whole set of oil. This is what it's looking like. So I would come back I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to do the rest, and then I will come back, okay? So guys, don't forget to let you know, when you jet the bit with your fork, right? And it has, like, ends of flour, like, sticking. The bit is not cooked as yet. So that's how you know when the bit is cooked or not. So when you jet it like this, see, it's come up clean because it's cooked. Well, well, let me show you something. This one is not cooked as yet. So you see it come out like wet. Tip of, I don't know if you can see that. Tip of your fork is a bit wet. Just like cake. When you jerk cake and it wet, it is, it's not cut. But same thing with bits. When you jerk it and it still looks wet, it's not cooked as yet. First thing, when you let the oil get hot, you put in the bit, you lower back, lower down. <laughs> yeah. Make, put the fire as low as possible after the oil is hot so the bits will cook through. I forgot to tell you that. So basically like cake when you jick it and it have any soft residue on it, that means it's not cooked as yet. So you have to let it cook some more. So I will be back. Guys, only make a few bits. So you could put cheese. I have cheese here, so you can put cheese in it. So let me just show you how the inside look. Once you're not seeing it soft, that means it's cooked. If it's soft, it's not. So you can put cheese. I like this with cheese. Jada, no. He will eat his plain or some jam. This is a new jam that I bought. I never tried it. I still wouldn't try it, try it now. See if it's any good. But the price was good, so... I never see a pork jam before. If you guys ever see a pork jam, let me know. So, how it's steaming. Ooh. So, I'm gonna try a bit of jam on it. I won't put, put too much jam because I ran out of a lot of jam. Mm. Mm. It's looking good. You want a bit more jam. Jalen is clean. 
he said, <laughs> bits and cheese is just strong. Bear and cheese is just the same thing as bread and cheese. No difference. Now, I used to put it in here when it was hot. So you cheese will melt. Mm. But it's still very good. I should grip. Now, they say if you want yours too sweet, don't put them on two tablespoons of sugar. If you want it sweet, you might put more. But I love my beans. My beans and cheese is delicious. But you can put The guys that are doing, you can use, do hot dogs, anything. It's just, it's just a bread. Eat it plain if you wish. If you have kids and you want to get something cheap, because you could buy a big cell for the flour, some sugar, and the rest of the ingredients, and that will last you a long time. You can make bits every day. And that'll be a cheaper version of buying bread regularly. It, that's really cheap. I know overseas things are cheaper than here. Mm. Guys, mm. the jam does taste really good. Strawberries. Mm. It does taste really, really good. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.